everybody. This is a little weird one, but I just wanted to, to dive back into doing some train stuff. Um, I thought I would just do a really, really down and dirty quick screen capture of some of the ideas that have been flowing around my head. Um, and uh, just to you know, say that I'm still thinking about the layout. Uh, we did our move. Things are good there. Um, and we're, I'm, I'm loving Sacramento, and I'm still kind of gelling on what uh, the next rev of my layout is going to be. Everything is boxed up and in our pod, but eventually it'll come out, and I'll start really doing some heavy planning again. So I've started using Pinterest just for, you know, different ideas and the like that come up. Uh, it's a very quick and, and simple way to do it. Um, and so one of the things I'm thinking about is a switchback area that would go, you know, kind of crawl up the wall a bit, maybe, you know, and all this is depending on exactly how much space I have in our new spot. It may be a closet for all I know. But uh, one of the ideas was to actually do a, a kind of mountain scene with the classic switchback, um, you know, uh, situation where you have a series of these loops that go up this mountain. And then I would have seen, um, I can't remember what the railway is now in Japan, but there's a railway where uh, you have these series of switches going up. So every once in a while you have to wait for another train to come down and kind of pull off to a siding area. That train goes through and then you can go up. And so I thought that would be really cool. It's been something that's been in my head for a while. And there's a couple of people doing that right now. Uh, here's another one, this guy here. Um, and so I thought that would be a very cool kind of way to do it. Um, let's see what else. Oh, switches, this guy here. Um, really would love to do more of this kind of switch work. Um, I thought that would be, you know, super cool. I'm always, you know, kind of enamored of, of that kind of look and feel. So I thought, uh, do a yard. Where's my yard? Some kind of yard thing like this. And uh, do like a bigger yard, way bigger than I had. Again, space allowing. And that would be really cool to do that with a lot of switch work and the like. So that's an idea that's been playing around. Um, and then uh, as far as inspiration goes, uh, I'm going to mispronounce this, I'm sure, but Tatsumi4022 uh, on Instagram is amazing. Uh, really like their work. Uh, this Everything that I hope to achieve in, in my layout as far as the detail um, and just the, the scene work and stuff, it's just a lot of fun. So uh, I'll put a link in for, for them as well. Um, I have my wants. Um, as far as like town stuff goes, I was just thinking of, of really making an effort to do tighter streets and the like. Um, this is a big thing and it's a it's something I've been playing around with. You know, um, a lot of the, oh, this is the actually the city one. But um, yeah, just much tighter uh, spaces. But I also, you know, you have to do that, that game of, you know, having the tight space, but also... Um, you know, being able to uh, see your work, you know, I don't want to just create this box where you can't see anything that's going on. So I'll be playing around with that as well, uh, doing a tighter uh, spot, um, doing more of this kind of wire work too, would be fun. Um, more signage too. I, I started the process um, and tore stuff down, but I had a planned, I don't want to go this heavy with signage. This is pretty heavy, even though it's you know, prototypical. Um, but yeah, lighted signs and the like would be very cool. Lights would be cool. I'm, I'm looking at that as well. Um, again, density of area here uh, would be very nice. Yeah, with way more people. There's tons of people, of course. And again, I was working on that, but you know, how things go. Uh, and lights. I can't wait. I... Uh, I have a very bad relationship with lighting. <laughs> um, I just, I'm not good at wiring and the like. This is not my brain. I start doing it and I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, but I think that, uh, you know, definitely lighting is on, on my list, my to-do list, because it would just be great to have this kind of look. Um, and it's doable. It's just, I have to learn. I have to learn. <laughs> um, again, here, great lighting. Uh, that would be so nice to, to shoot um, on the layout. So that's another thing that I've been playing around with. And again, tighter spaces, um, you know, have areas where you can just look down an alleyway and see, you know, things like this would be great. And lastly, uh, town stuff. Um, I would love to kind of get um, a kind of more rustic look to some stuff. And also, you know, in this case in particular, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's, there's a height thing um, that happens. And I would love to get some more height variation in the layout um, where you can actually see different levels and kind of see streets going up and, and the like. I think that would be a lot of fun and definitely something I want to I want to do. Um, things like this um, where, you know, you have these winding streets and the rustic rustic look. So again, breaking the the linear, this lined street and not being afraid to make a street really small because these streets are really small. Um, and here's the, another example of height stuff. Uh, you know, have a, a mountain with stuff on it, you know, these stairs and, and the like. It would be really great to have that in the layout. And even if it's a background or, you know, up against the wall uh, kind of deal, I think that would be really cool. And that's definitely on my list, my want list. Um, again, tight area, uh, that, that elevation aspect, and just real tight um spaces like this I really really like and I thought it would be cool if you were to look at the elevation of it you'd have stuff that's going up then you have your your main layer which is on your your main section and then stuff going down so it looks like the whole thing is on a hill that would be interesting to play around with as well and then it all comes down to bench work I guess at that point um, again tight space here you know, working with those those tight areas. Um, and I think that would be super great. Uh, if I can do the, you know, playing around with the tighter space and being able to see stuff. Um, I think that would be crucial. Uh, but it is definitely something I enjoy. So I'll probably just mix it in, like have, you know, three areas on the, on the layout that'll have a tighter space that you kind of look down an alley. And then I like this curve here because you could you could just see it going on forever, but it, it doesn't actually go on forever. So you can do that, and then you can deal with your wall situation that way, which uh, is, would be kind of a fun thing to play around with as well. Uh, I saw that already. And then things like this. This really gets me too. I love these this stuff like this. Stuff. Stuff, you know, and I don't want the whole thing to be like this, but I definitely am going to have areas where it's just going to be just stuff packed in. I, there's a lot of these references um, that I have here. Um, again, here's more stuff, um, more stuff, <laughs> and just, you know, have like these areas of really densely uh, populated um, kind of pieces of. of spots where there's like there's just a ton of stuff that you know it's out and out and about to see i think that would be a lot of fun um and then lastly these kind of buildings these kind of weird buildings i want to get into doing more scratch built stuff um you can find some buildings like this uh some of the japanese sites have little you know crazy buildings like this but i think kit bashing is the way to go and scratch building so i'll be paying you know playing around with that and actually taking more time I've, I've delved into that, um, but you can see a lot of these buildings are like these crazy little tight buildings and these tight spaces. I think that would be a lot of fun to take on, but really make an effort to, you know, sit with a project for a while, you know, plan it out um, and then execute. And this take way more time than I've been taking on these, these kind of, you know, these kind of scratch build uh, deals. So, you know, see how that goes. 
But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know that I am still around and I am happy and healthy and <laughs> um, I am working. I'm doing a, uh, a contractor, uh, a creative director position, which is you know what I've been shooting for. Uh, and so hopefully in 2020, that'll be full time. That would be fantastic. Uh, family's great. Everything's great. I um, got to uh, meet up with Tom Barbelay of Model Rail Radio a few months ago now, I guess, now. And that was a lot of fun um, for an event up here in Sacramento. Uh, Tom's a great guy. We had barbecue with, with a couple of the, the Model Rail Radio folks and then saw a great layout that I will also link in uh, in this video. And I, I've been just sitting on this, doing some kind of update, you know, what's going on in NRail, what's, you know, is there any going to be any kind of update? And I kept saying, oh, I should do something, I should do something, and I've just been so busy, I haven't had a chance, so I just thought, this is better than nothing. <laughs> so maybe next time I'll have a, a little more uh, production value and a little less uh, Pinterest fun. But I'll put links to my, uh, my Pinterest, uh, little reference materials if everyone wants to see that. And the link to the um, the layout tour that we did, which was a lot of fun. And as it goes, I will try to update the blog more often. And like that there, I hope everyone's fine. And if you are watching, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back into the, the mix once we get our new place next year. All right. So happy holidays, everybody. And I will talk with you soon.